We were talking earlier about your skepticism uh, when you look at the rally and how far it's come since March 23rd. Who is out there buying? I mean, there are definitely people who are rebalancing their portfolios after the big sell-off that we saw in March. But who is out there buying the dips day after day here? You know, Scarlett, I think uh, it is uh, some non-U.S. money that's still coming back to the U.S.A. as one of the better places to be. Uh, let's keep in mind that Asia still had a slow Japan economy, uh, and Europe is still reeling with Brexit and now has even more complex issues. So the U.S. is one of the better places to be in terms of parking your money. But as you said, coming out of the break, you know, the market last fall was melting up. Right now, we're just uh, seesawing. I, I don't see us breaking out of this, you know, say 29, uh, 35, 29, 50 in the S&P 500. Uh, the market is back to some of the levels we saw last summer. And last summer, you had really good uh, uh, PE ratios. You know, they were rising constantly. You had corporate earnings that were okay, but they weren't spectacular. You have corporate earnings now that are just a disaster. So uh, unless you think there's going to be a massive PE expansion, I don't see how this man, uh, market breaks out of its 200-day moving average. And it's going to be the classic bear market seesaw pattern. 